Hey guys, Tate from Florida here. I'm out at Emerson Point Park in Palmetto, Florida, and I'm at an Indian mound here that was home to the Tamukwa Indians um, between 800 AD and 1500 AD. So I'm going to walk up this um, top of this Indian mound here and um, give you some history on the way up. Back in 1867, Major Robert Griffith homesteaded here. So he built a house on top of this Indian mound. Whether he knew this was an Indian mound or not is unclear. There are remnants of the house up here. There's the water system from the house that was put in in 1894. And here is the remnants of the chimney from the house from 1867. I think pan slowly back around here you can see all that decent sized hill here, probably about I don't know, maybe 40 or 45 feet up. And they had uh, quite a good look out over here with the water. Some of the trees are in the way and the sun's going down right now, but um, you can probably see the trees or the water a little bit through the trees back there. But um, he built this house after being released from a Union prison in 1866. And after he built a homestead up here, planted numerous banana and citrus trees, and after two years um, in here, he married Anna Webb, and they had their first child who was born on the spot. The uh, transportation out here, they were, it was done by water, because there was no bridges connecting the island out here. And they used to grow up river to the village of Manatee to sell um, their produce and buy supplies. And the nearest neighbor they had was Edward Sneed, for whom Sneed Island was named. So it's hard to, you can still see some of the rooms. There's a piece of, of a wall there. But this is just uh, an Indian mound dating way back in They did uh, actually really have a good view here, but they were only here for two years in here before they disappeared. And then some other people came in. There's a, a timeline up here on top of the Indian Mound telling you all the different people that lived here and how long they were here and what had happened to them. Um, one, couple, one couple drowned um, and other things. So. Not sure if it's a good idea to put a house on top of an Indian mound or not, but anyway, so let me just give you an idea here. Um, like I said, we're up 45, maybe 50 feet a year at tops. And they did, have, they did have a good view from up here, that's for sure. <laughs> 